Alright, bro. In today's video, damn, it's hot as fuck up in this hot crib. You know what I mean? uh, 85 degrees. Anyway, alright, what's up? What's up, my niggas? So, shit, we got, I got a little story time, y'all. If y'all don't, hold on, I'm gonna. I gotta turn this shit off. Anyway, you're gonna interfere with the video. Anyway, so you know me, bro. I just make a YouTube channel just to vent. Like, I got, I'm bored as fuck. I just came to this bitch. I'm new to this Florida shit. I'm new to the YouTube shit. So, shit. Hey, if the camera quality low or the position bad, hey, work with me, bro. I started this shit because I was bored and I go to. I don't know nobody here. That's basically what I'm saying. I'm in Florida. Orlando, if you trying to fuck with me, hit me up, bro. So shit. But so this story time, we're gonna talk about middle school, bro. The day I got embarrassed by my mama, the day my mama slapped the soul out of me, right? So we gonna um, but like my old what? Anyway, fuck, I'm messing up, getting sidetracked. Like I told y'all last video, I was a troublemaker, right? I always get in trouble, like I always stay in the office. I never, I, I always stay in the office, I always get in school detention, I was like, uh, I was Saturday detention, yes, we had Saturday detention, you stay in that bitch for four hours, yes, so, I was a badass kid, bro, like, I always get in trouble, so, my reputation at school was known, everybody know me, I was a class clown, and I'm not gonna lie, I had the hoes in middle school, bro, even though, um, even though in middle school we were the same shit, bro, I had the hoes, bro. Like, I had them. Because I was funny as fuck. And look at me. Nah, I'm like, <laughs> So anyway, bro, so we, my teacher, Ms. Varnell, that's the bitch that um, went to go get my mama, right? So Ms. Varnell class, she hate me, right? Because obviously I'm a class clown. So I'm going to do dumb shit and get on your nerves. Like back then I was like savage. Like me and my nigga Antonio. Man, shout out my nigga Antonio, man. That's my nigga, bro. Hey, bro, if this YouTube, I want to do that YouTube thing with him because, shit, if me and this nigga Antonio in one room, bro, I'm telling you, that's going to be bangers, bro. We do not get, when we together, we don't get no fuck, bro. We like these, like, we don't get no fuck, so, Miss Varnell, right? So, Miss Varnell didn't like my ass, and, like I said, I was a class clown, so, shit, I don't get no fuck she like me or not, right? So, oh, yeah. So I, I'm, I know I get off sidetrack. That's me. I always got off sidetrack. Don't mind the haircut, bro. That's why I'm wearing a hoodie. But that's side of the point. In Miss Varnell class, if since I always get in trouble with that, you know, you got these, you got that student always get in trouble. So if anything happened, they blame you automatically. Like off oh, rip, I was one of those. So my my classmates. Every time you used to get in trouble, my classmates would be like, who did it? And they all blame on me, bro. That shit was dirty as hell, bro. Like, um, I promise you, that shit was dirty as hell. Every time we get in trouble, they be like, who did it? And they all scream my name. If you don't know, my name is Varys. So they all be like, Varys, every one of them, I get in trouble. And then I get sent to the office. And then I get, and I get, I got to deal with it with my parents. My parents don't believe me because I'm always getting in trouble, right? So, so that particular day, I had a jacket, so I had a jacket, and for some reason, oh yeah, keep in mind, when I go, in that class, we, we had blocks, right, we we had blocks, so in that class, it was my reading class, so I had a jacket on, it was a blue jacket, and I guess I have a tendency to lose or misplace my jacket, so my mama be strict, you know how black parents be, when you, when you get like new shit, they be strict as fuck about it, if you lose it, it's your ass, yes, I had one of those, so... I had that jacket on. I must have took it off, and I, I, I don't know what happened, but I took it off and left the shit there. Like, I took it off and left the shit there. I don't know why I did it. I, I knew my fate was sealed, bro. So, I left my jacket there. I didn't even want to leave my jacket there, bro. <laughs> I left my jacket there, so I told my, I don't know. Now, my mama didn't act, so I went home. I didn't really, I really wasn't tripping because I knew I was going to get it tomorrow because, like, in middle school, you go to the same class with the same people every, all day. You be with everybody all damn day, right? So I wasn't even tripping with the jacket, so I was going to get it until 
the morning because my mom, my parents used to drive me off. I don't know why they take the bus that day. I should have took the bus that day, but my mom decided to drive me off. So she dropped me off. She was like, where's your jacket? I was like, oh, I left my jacket in such and such. You know, so I left my jacket in such and such. So she getting mad because she was like, so you tell me you didn't bring the jacket home? I was like, nah, I left it in such and I know where it is. I'm going to get it. So she said, get it because I don't have a time for you to lose it again. So I was like, shit, man. I was like, shit, all right. But I already knew, like, damn, I got to go back to Miss Barnell class to get the bitch, right? So I went over there. I went over to a class, right? And I, I asked her, hey, can I get my jacket back? Like on some on some chill regular shit. Like, can I get my jacket back? And she's like, no. Like, bitch, this is my jacket. Like, why the fuck you telling me no for my jacket? You know what I'm saying? Like, you telling me no for something that's mine. So I was like, hey, bro, I need that jacket. Come my mama here, and she want me to get my jacket. I should never said my mama. I should have just grabbed it, bitch. I should have just. I think the reason I didn't grab it because I didn't know where it's at, right? So, so, so when she found out, she decided to bring my mama to class or bring my mama in the building. That's tough. To this day, I don't know how she got able to contact with my mama because I promise you my mama was in a car. So, I don't know how the hell she got in contact with her. So, all I know is I was sitting in my homeroom class because middle school we all had homeroom. So I was sitting in my I don't know what these niggas talking about. So I was sitting in my homeroom, right? Just chilling, bro. That real as fuck, just like just shaking, bro. Like just shaking because I knew that's my ass. Like when my when she gonna tell her what I be doing and that's my ass. So I was just sitting there shaking, bro. Thinking about just thinking about life, bro. Like I hope I hope she don't like in my whole my whole mind. I was like I hope she don't come to class. I hope she don't come to class. I hope she don't come to class. I saw her walk past the door right, so I was like fuck. So as soon as then all I heard was doom doom doom, and my mom opened the door. Bro, I knew it was over. Bro, I couldn't face it. But when I saw her, I was like, damn, I'm about to get my ass in bears. And that's not the first time I got my ass in bears, bro. So. She told me to come here. She she was in the middle. Keep in mind, when you walk in our classroom, the, there's two rows in the middle, two rows on the left, two rows on the right, and the teacher desk in the back right, right? So, so we was in the middle of the classroom. She told me to come here. And she was basically telling me, like, I'm tired of this shit like that. You know how black people be trying to embarrass you and get loud with you in front of your, student, your classmates, right? So she said, hey, she's like, take off your belt. And I'm not going to lie, I was a bitch, bro. I, like, I'm not, let me, let me say that bitch part. I'm not going to lie, I used to say mommy and daddy when I was in middle school, bro. I, I was literally say, I literally straight up and say, no, mommy. Like, in front of everybody. Now everybody know I come on my mommy. So, that was back then, though. So, I was like, no, mommy. So, she was just kidding, talking, talking. And the thing is, out of nowhere, like, I wasn't even paying attention. Out of nowhere, she slapped the soul out of me. Bro, okay. Picture it right. Picture this is my face. And just slapped the fuck out that shit. Did that. That was my face, bro. She did that in front of everybody, bro. Like my pride, like. Man, what the fuck is going on? The good way we loud ass people on my homeless. But anyway. So, bro, I was just. When I slapped, I was just shook. Like, I was shook more than anything. I didn't shook. Like, it didn't hurt. It just, like, my pride went down. And I was just like, damn. This woman really just slapped my ass. You know? Like, when you get slapped so hard, you have to think, like, you don't think of the pain until... Yeah, you don't think of the pain. You just be thinking, like, damn, my ass really just got slapped. So, I got slapped. I'm over here like, geez. Everybody saw it. My, my best friend Antonio saw it. Everybody saw it. It was like, damn, right? So she told me to go sit my ass down. I sit my ass down. Like, bro, what, I, what I'm supposed to do? I can't argue back, man. Because, shit, I was going to have to fight my mama. I was, yo, that was the day I was going to have to fall my mama, bro. So, and then when she walked out of the class, she proceeded to say, and say it. she proceeded to, fuck, man. She proceeded to say that you not getting no Christmas gifts. Christmas gifts. She put my business out there at all, bro. Out there at all. She put my Christmas gifts. I'm like, damn, bro. You got to tell everybody everything. So some people, some people were uh, giggling and laughing. Some people were giggling and laughing. Like, oh, of course, like, shit. A nigga just got slapped.
laughed in your class, who would be laughing? If somebody got slapped, if, somebody, if it wasn't me that got slapped, I would've laughed at the other nigga, right? So, so, bro, I was just, I'm not gonna lie, I cried, bro. I cried, not because it hurt. I cried because of my pride, bro. My pride went down. This woman made my pride go down, bro. I wanted to fold her, like, I didn't, I didn't want to talk to her no nothing. So, bro, I was just sad the whole day, bro. The teacher saw it. Man, speaking of the teacher, the bag right teacher, he saw it, right? But my favorite teacher, she saw it. She, when I got slapped, she was like this. She, she was just like this. I was looking at her. She was just like this. I was like, damn, bitch, you can't help me? You can't help a nigga, bro? I'm about to get slapped. You could at least interfere and be like, hey, um, can y'all take this somewhere else so I want to get my, my shit slapped in front of these kids, right? She didn't help me not once. Like, she just looked at my ass. She was just in the window like, like, damn, bitch, you not gonna help a nigga? Like, damn, I thought you, I thought I was cool. You my favorite teacher. I'm, I'm supposed to be your favorite student. What, what's going on? What's going on? So, I was mad as fuck, bro. Like, she just looking at that shit. Talking about some. Like, damn, bitch, of course you're gonna be, of course that's gonna be your reaction if you got your, if your favorite student got slapped. Like, nigga. So, bro, anyway, man, I still feel some type of way about that teacher. So anyway, I was just chilling. So it, I was just feeling down, bro. I didn't give a fuck about nobody. I didn't care about nobody. I was just feeling down, bro. I didn't care about nobody. Bro. I didn't. I didn't give. I don't care about. Nobody. It was just a tough day for my ass, bro. It was a tough day, tough experience. I never thought I would go. I would go through this in my life, bro. Like real shit. So, but this, but hey, I didn't even know white people do that, bro. This white kid. He was a cool ass nigga. He was a military kid, bro. He came to me and told me everything's gonna be all right. He gonna boost my head up. So, I, shit, I, it, it felt me better. Like I was able to go through school, like be like, shit, I got slapped, but shit, hey, I just gotta live through life, bro. I was one of, it was just, but he boosted my head up though. Yeah, bro. I got embarrassed. Shit, I got embarrassed a lot in middle school, bro. Bro, like this not this is just middle school, but wait till fucking high school, nigga. Like I'm I'm in college now, right? So these are just stories from our middle school. Wait till I get to high school story. That shit will be crazy, bro. I'm telling ya. So but yeah, bro, that was the story of me getting slapped on my mama. I'm gonna try to get I'm about to bring up another video about uh my traumatizing experience, bro. Traumatizing experience. I'm about to show y'all like the, the reason why I don't eat bananas no more, bro. This girl made me fucked up my whole experience in even now, but like I'm traumatized. Like every time I every time I, I think about eating one, bro, I haven't eaten a banana since sixth, seventh grade. Like it's tough, bro. Like, but yeah, that's gonna be another video, bro. I'm about to see y'all niggas in the next video. Alright, it's been your. But anyway, bro, follow my follow my social media antibody. I'm about to make an Instagram soon, soon, not now, but soon. I will tell you when. So run up that Snapchat, bro. I be on Snapchat a lot, so follow me. My Snapchat A N T I B O D I I Antibody. It's just that simple. Just like my my YouTube name. That's my Snapchat name. So yeah, run that shit up, bro. And I'm in Florida, like man, fuck it. Anyway, so I'ma see y'all niggas in the next video. It's me, your boy K O B. Yeah. <laughs> I see y'all niggas in the next video.